evening everyone, Elvira here. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I've been sick, that's why we're a little off this week. I am doing a cooking show on Monday night. Uh, worked today and worked out. We're gonna do a black bean chili. I have already did the beans, right here's our beans. And we're gonna use um, some, we're gonna chop all our vegetables. We're gonna use some cauliflower, green pepper, celery, carrots, tomato, I mean, uh, mushrooms, parsley, cilantro, onion, and a tomato. And some of the stuff we will use to brown our meat because we're going to use ground turkey. So, first, let's do this. I thought we'd cut our, our vegetables first and then chop them up and put them in our um, pan. It's a unique uh, black bean chili and something that I ate as a kid, but also um, I added to it because I like my vegetables and I like, when I make chili, I like to have things, I like substance in my thing, you know, I just can't eat it plain, I, I, I get bored. So it's like, no. Um, And I always buy the beans in the bag, and I just leave them soak overnight, and then I cook them in the morning while I'm cleaning the house and doing my, you know, doing what I'm supposed to be doing, my normal routine. And that's about it. I hope everybody had a blessed weekend. I hope everybody enjoyed, you know, God was good to them and the angels. I know I just relaxed a little bit. I didn't really do much. I had a sinus infection and I finally feel good today, but I'm hungry for some chili because it's sort of a bit chilly and outside. And I was like, you know, I really want some chili. It's that time of the year. And I just love my vegetables and my chili. I also have a regular black bean chili that I use that I'll share with you guys in a couple of weeks. Um, it's really yummy. and stuff so I wanted to chop the vegetables first and put them in the pan and then we gotta you know the other stuff we'll use to put in um, our meat been a zoo but it's been all good I have been working hard on my cookbook I'm trying to get everything ready for the publisher so I hope everybody will enjoy it and we're gonna start with seasonings and let everybody know season to taste but start with one tape one teaspoon that's a good start on everything um, and then you can go from there I have to come up with some stuff because I have friends that are vegan and when they come over you know we have a chili and it's like well I made chili once with just beans and sauce and it was like I never heard the end of it so now I get unique because I realize I have friends that are vegan and I try to understand you know some of them it's health related issues and that's why so I am um, you know and I have found that now that I eat healthy and I really concentrate on myself I don't worry about what other people think like I told you before, I was bullied a lot, you know, and um, a lot of people that bully me now, they're all heavy, and I think it's sort of funny. We always say karma. But I only, con I concentrate on my health and myself because I got a second chance at life. And my second chance at life doesn't always give me, I might not get a third chance, you know. So I thought, oh, you know, I want to share my experiences and giving people healthy eating because it's so easy to do and you don't have to go into a five-star restaurant. It's not like you need a five-star restaurant to eat. And this one here is unique. Um, I 
I always like chopping the vegetables and sticking them in the pan first. It's just, it's easier. Then I can concentrate on the meat and go from there. In this time of the year, I do eat a lot of soups, a lot of chilies and stuff, but um, and things like that, you know. Um, like I told you before, I love my soups, and I already had soup for lunch from what I showed you guys the other day. Still have leftovers, and I, I take it to the lake with me because I'm getting ready to shut my trailer down, and I don't keep a lot of food up there. We had a lot of storms this last couple of weeks. I always love this recipe because I come up with it, but I think it's unique because I have really mastered the flavors and I've let other people try and it's like, they like, oh, this is so good. And, you know, and I try to be more prepared when I come on so they don't take a lot of time from everybody. I know time is precious and it's important. You know, we all have families, we all have lives. But I also want to be able to share with you. It'll probably be two or three videos. I'm going to use those two. Okay. Now, I'm going to use two tablespoons of sour cream. I just love sour cream. And I did work out today, if maybe people are asking. And then what we're gonna do is come over here and mix it with sea salt. Let me get organized. Bring you over here. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to use some oregano, probably one teaspoon to start. Season salt. Pepper. Italian seasoning. Some ground cumin and you want the same seasonings that you uh, use in the meat and then some basil and I've learned over the years from just watching things excuse me I uh, try to uh, let's see basil some garlic powder our chili seasoning and I'd say probably chili seasoning start with a teaspoon and taste season to taste I just season to stay I just shake 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 rattle and roll and then when I think I had enough that's what I do and then you're gonna use a tablespoon of Worcestershire tablespoon of lemon And then we're gonna mix it. And then we're gonna set this aside. Hey, look how cool, look how pretty this looks. There we have that. So, we're going to set that to the side, and now, we set this to the side, we are going to get a frying pan out, and we're going to get our meat together, and 
prepared of just a uh, chop off our garlic and our parsley cilantro will chop I have some fresh spinach that we're going to add to, to that. So let's get this one. You can use, I use a half a pound of ground turkey, which is already thawed out. And I'm going to throw in some spinach, three cups, which is three handfuls. One, two, three. We're going to brown it, and the spinach is actually going to brown with the cilantro. tablespoon of lemon juice to brown in and Worcestershire cider sauce and then I'm going to stop and we're going to brown them together in the seasonings and finish up and I'll start another video. Spoon of each. So, I will be right back. Obira's going to pause and I'll be right back. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you soon. God bless you. Love y'all.